we're going to do a distance from a point to a line. That's the section of a point in a plane is what we're going to be looking at. So here's your plane, and here's a point here. Let's say it's three, uh, negative one, two. And we're going to take a plane that's uh, 2x minus y. perpendicular to this point as we have it. Okay? And it's called the reflected plane. That's what we're going to try to find. So here's what I like to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a line. Because we calculated the lambda 
that'll get you from the point at which it says three negative one two to the point. That lambda will land you from here. Adding that will land you right on the point. But I want the one that's twice that distance. This is a lambda. Here's another lambda that's two lambda. Now, the other thing that you asked about was the distance from a point to a line. And distance from a point to a line is a totally different fact. But it's not that bad. 3, negative 1, 2 is the same point. 3, negative 1, 2 in the case code. And we're going to go to the line x, y, z equal to, um, oh, I'm just going to say, up a different line than what we had here before. One, negative one, one. Okay? Now here's what we want to do. We want to find the shortest distance from this point to the line. You ready for all this? Okay. So probably what we want to do is think about this line. Think about this Pick a point on this line that we know is 2, negative 1, negative 2. We know that's on the line, right? If we had one more point, we could make a triangle here, and we could figure out, yeah, we could figure out the vector uh, dot product and find the area of that triangle. So let's label these. Plus one is three. Negative one minus one is negative two. Negative two plus one is one. Okay. This will be there we go. Now we're gonna make a vector A B and a vector A B. And all I need is the same as what our direction vector was before that. And then this one's going to be 2 minus 2 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 3 and 4. Are you okay with that? So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the triangle, which is 1 half Cross product of A, B, cross A, B. That's over 2. That's the area. And I know the area of the triangle we're going to need halfway home. So this is going to be I, J, K. And we go 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 0, 4. So cover this one up with negative 4 minus 0 is 4i minus, cover this up, 4 minus 1 is 3, negative 3 j, cover this one up, 0 minus negative 1 is plus 1 j. And what's the magnitude of this point? What's the magnitude of this point? The area of the triangle. The 